All right, welcome everybody. Okay. Our speaker today is Frank Dutza from the University of Erlangen, Nuremberg, and he will talk about the higher integrability for porous medium type systems. Please go ahead. Okay, so thanks for the invitation. And uh, so this is my first internet talk, uh, so the online talk uh, on, uh, on the things uh, I, I, am, I did in the last year or so with uh, some of my colleagues. <clears throat> so the subject is uh, a, very, a very traditional one, uh, and it's concerned with higher integrability for porous meat. It's, not, it's, uh, uh, it's on higher integrability, and anyone in, in the field uh, of PDE uh, knows a bit about that. <clears throat> there are these classical results of uh, gearing on the higher integrability of quasi-conformal maps uh, and later on on uh, the higher integrability for elliptic equations or systems. Uh. And here it's uh, for uh, the porous medium type systems. Uh. Okay, let me start with the, uh, so, the starting point is uh, the nonlinear generalizations of the heat equation. Uh, so they first, the, st the standard, the classical heat equation, it's uh, the time derivative of a function minus the Laplacian, the space of, uh, of U is equal to zero. And there are different ways to generalize this uh, to a nonlinear parabolic equation. One way would be, Instead of u, you take a power of u, and I I write it because I I, I would like to uh, to uh, consider also solutions with the sign sign solutions, not only non-negative solutions. I write it in this way: u to the m modulus of u to the m minus one times u. So usually you have dTU minus Laplacian of U to the M is equal to zero and U is non-negative. So sometimes you write this porous medium equation or porous, as you re easily realize, eh, this equation here, you can write it also down in the vectorial setup. You know? So it's, here it's no, makes no difference uh, between the scalar case or the case of systems. Uh, so sometimes uh, you substitute here u to the m is equal to v, which means that uh, u is v to the one over m, and then you get the porous medium equation in this form here. So the M here, it's a different from, from the M here, yeah, but it's no, <clears throat> it's not uh, a problem uh, to substitute M by some other M. Then the second way, the second way to generalize the heat equation is uh, you write it here as the divergence of gradient or divergence of u of du. And then you put here in front of du you put this factor u to the p minus one. So this, <clears throat> this one here is in a certain sense, uh, the L2 gradient flow to the p energy. And this is the parabolic p Laplace equation or system. So these are possible generalizations. So first you have here, you generate here, the nonlinearity, and in the second, you generate the nonlinearity in the diffusion part. Uh, and this you can combine 
and you get, okay, no, this, you can combine both here. You can take this part here together with this part and you take the same exponents and this equation here or this system of partial differential equations, it's Schrodinger's equation. <coughs> it's a time derivative of modulus of u to the p minus two times u minus the p Laplacian is equal to zero. And now it's clear that you, it's possible to use here a different exponent you use instead of p, you use m. And the range of exponents here is m is larger than one and p is larger than one. And this is a general doubly nonlinear equation, parabolic equation or system. So the, these kind of equations are used uh, in modeling of filtration processes, uh, groundwater flows. Uh, the Trudinger equation for the exponent p is equal to three over two is used to model um, the gas transport in gas pipelines. And so there, there are many applications, but not a, I'm not an applied mathemat mathematician, and so I will not speak about the applications. I'm just interested in the analysis of uh, solutions. So let for the for the, the treatment for analytical treatment of this kind of equations, it's it's important uh, to analyze uh, the homogeneity of these equations. So for the Parabolic P Laplace equation, there is quite easy here. You have this equation here, and you see if U is a solution, then also U plus a constant is a solution. Yeah. But a multiple of a solution, it's only a solution if you multiply by zero or one. For Trudinger's equation, so you cannot add constants, but you can multiply with a scalar factor. factor. So for the Trudinger equation, um, a multiple of a solution is again a solution, but Adding constants destroys this. And from this viewpoint, uh, from viewpoint of homogeneity, the porous medium is the worst. Eh? You can neither add constant nor multiply with scalars. So here, if you take the porous medium equation here, yeah, it's, not, it's not homogeneous in both directions with respect to adding constant and multiplying with scalars. So, and for this reason, uh, the, the theory of this kind of systems equations, it's a bit, diff it's completely different. Uh, so then next, what are the fundamental solutions? Uh, for the porous medium, the fundamental solutions of this kind of equations are called Barnblatt solution because Barnblatt uh, made this, uh, this ansatz uh, that you have x modulus of x to a power and then you get a, a ODE and the, the, and the ODE you can solve. For porous medium equation, the Barnblatt exists for any m in the range uh, from n minus 2 over n. Let's say n is larger than 3. So if n is uh, equal to 2, then you have all in the whole range 0, 1, 1 to infinity. And the Barenblatt is given by this uh, explicit function. It's t to the minus n over beta. There's a prefactor. And then you have the modulus of x divided by t to the one over better. Then you take the positive part 
and then you take the exponent the exponent one over m minus one and this is for any t larger than zero and the constant better here is given by n times m minus one plus two so first observation is a uh, in if m is larger than n minus two over n, better is non-negative. It's greater than, than zero. And this one here, the sign changes. When m is less than one, it's negative. When, um, when m is less than one, then it's positive. And for m larger than one, it's negative. So there's so, a question in the yeah. chat, if I may. Um, isn't the Barnblatt solution associated with an anisotropic scale invariance of the PM equation? Yeah, there is also a Barnblatt for the uh, for which equation for PM. This is the Perfect. yeah. This reflects the anisotropic scaling of the equation, of course. Okay. Okay. So this prefactor here. is uh, non-negative in, in, in this range between n minus two over n and one, which means, so the sum is non-negative, so there is no positive part here. So the bound blood is uh, non-negative, it, it's greater than zero for any x and any t. And perturbations, propagate with infinite speed. In the degenerate, and this is called the singular range. Uh, in the degenerate case, this is the case m larger than one, p is negative. So if this becomes large, so you have, a, the sum becomes negative. So the positive part is in force and the Barenblatt has compact support. And here you have uh, in the finite speed of propagation, perturbations uh, propagate with uh, finite speed. This is for the porous medium equation. Next, for the Trudinger equation, it looks completely different. Uh, for any P, you have the bound blood. Uh, it's uh, T to the N over P times P minus one here. Exponential P mi minus P minus one X to the P divided by PT over one over P minus one for P equal to two. If you just put P equal to two here, you get the classical heat kernel. And uh, of course, Baumblatt is uh, positive for any X in Rn and T greater than zero. And you have S in the case of the heat equation, you have infinite speed of propagation. And for, for this reason, so this fundamental solution here looks quite similar to the heat kernel. Uh, people thought that the, uh, this equation here should behave quite similar to the heat equation. Solutions should behave quite similar to the heat equation. Finally, the fundamental solution for the parabolic P Laplacian, uh, it looks in, like this here. It's uh, T over N minus beta. Beta is this constant here, and it exists for any P larger than 2N over N plus one. So there's always this other uh, P around for the, uh, for the uh, parabolic P Laplacian. It's 2N over N plus two, which is smaller than this one here, but the bound that only exists for p larger than 2n over n plus 2 and p different from zero. And here you have the same phenomenon as for, for the porous medium equation for p less than two, you have that the fundamental solution is positive for any t larger than zero, any x in Rn, you have infinite speed of propagation. And this case is called the singular case. And then for p larger than two, 
It's the opposite. Uh, you have compact support, finite speed of propagation, and this case is called the degenerate case. So the the, the solution, so porous medium equation uh, and P Laplacian equation, the the fundamental the bottom blood, the fundamental solution look a bit quite similar, but the bit but but it's uh, nevertheless a uh, uh, completely different equations. There is a very, very interesting connection between Trudinger's equation and the parabolic P Laplace equation. Just for simplicity, take U, U to be a solution of this equation here. It's the principal part, it's a parabolic P Laplace. And then you add modulus of gradient of U to the P. I, I write here gradient nabla instead of D because I really want to emphasize this is scalar. And then you do the transformation. You take the exponential of minus U over P minus one, and you do the computations and you see that W satisfies up to this constant here, Trudinger's equation. This was observed by Kochwar and Ni nee in 2009. And now there you see, okay, this is a standard parabolic P, but, but this nonlinearity here in the gradient is a natural growth. It's critical, it's exactly the exponent P. And you see that this equation here, that it could be a bit more difficult to treat this equation, huh? because even in here in the homogeneous case, eh, if you do the transformation, you get this very nasty term, right u to the p. So what are the known results for the porous medium equation? Uh, so there's this famous papers of uh, the Benedetto Friedman from 1985. It's the Holder continuity of solutions. Then there is the paper of uh, Caffarelli, Vasquez and Wolonsky. It says that the solution is Lipschitz continu continuous, uh, but you have to wait a long time there, not instantly. So after, after a long time, solution will become uh, Lipschitz continuous. And there's the, the ACTA paper of uh, the Benedetto Janat Savespri. There's a Harnack inequality. Of course, this list is for sure not complete. There are many other results concerning regularity issues. For Trudinger's equation, there is a, a Harnack inequality in this paper of Trudinger from 1968. Then there is a generalizations by Janat Savespri and Kinun and Kusi. Vincenzo Vespri proved the older continuity that was reproved by Kusi, Siljanda, and Urbano. And there is a, a so called gradient bound for strictly positive solutions from Siljanda. But what, what, what does it mean, strictly positive solutions here? That means that the author assumes that the solution u is greater or equal to zero in a subset of omega t, the space-time cylinder. And then he proves it's greater, not it's uniformly. Yeah, in the subset, and then he proves uh, a great an uh, L infinity bound for the gradia via Moser's iteration scheme. But of course, the estimates uh, for the gradient blow up when epsilon turns to, uh, tends to zero. So this is uh, not a real gradient bound uh, in, in the sense, because this usually the solutions can become zero. Now, 
what I what I would like to talk about is gradient porous medium type systems. Uh, so we consider a space time domain, space time cylinder omega t. Mappings from this space time cylinder to Rn. N can be great, N can be large. And this is a system. The time derivative of U minus the divergence of A of X T U, and then here is modulus of U to the M minus one times U is divergence of F minus of F. So in, and I assume that A is defined on omega T cross Rn times space of matrices. So it's a car theory function mapping, satisfying that uh, A of C times C is bounded below times new modulus of C squared, and that you have linear growth in, in the gradient variable. And this should hold true for almost every XT in the <coughs> space-time cylinder for any U in Rn, any matrix C, and the constant nu is strictly larger than zero and less than L. These are porous medium type systems and weak solutions here. So I assume here the vector field F here is L2, small f the here is also in L2, so capital F, is L2 and it's a matrix. F is a vector, it's also in L2 and then a map U such that it is continuous. It, it, it's C0 L1 plus M. So it's U T is L1 plus M, and it's a continuous map in this sense. And the power of U, U to the M, and the power I here, always see here, I have this, this quantity here. I, I just uh, use the shorthand notation that U to the M is modulus of U to the M minus one times U if U is different from zero and it's equal to zero if U is equal to zero. So I assume that U is C0 L1 plus M and L2 W1 2 low block. And then I call this weak solution to the porous medium type systems. If this identity holds for any testing function with uh, smooth testing function with compact support in the space time. So, so it's U times phi T a of x t u d u to the m times d phi is equal to f times scalar product phi plus f scalar product d phi, derivative of phi. And you see <clears throat> this one here is in L2. So if this is in L2, it's well defined. Here, you, do, you don't have any problem because you have the uh, everything is shifted to the testing function. And here it's also, if phi is in, 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 in W12, you, this is finite if it is in L2 and this one here also. There is an alternative definition, yeah, for M larger than one. Okay, let me explain this. You write the derivative of U to the M, you write in this way, it's m times u to the m minus one times du. Then you, you split this here into two factors, u to the m minus one over two. Here you have a u to the m minus one over two. And then you recombine this to the derivative of u to the m plus one over two. And then this leads purely formal here I take the most simple case here. I just quit this one here. I only take the u to the m. You get this equation here of the prefactor here doesn't count, but you get u phi t u to the m minus one over two du to the m plus one over two d phi 
the right hand side is the same. So, and in this here, it suffices to assume that U is in C0 L2 and U to the M plus one over two is L2 W12. This is less than what I assume here. It seems to be, yeah. Okay, so why is this of interest? Because now you can, if you test, do the testing and people working in this field in PDE, what, what else should you do? You have to test with, the te with you. You put you here, you take once again the recombination here with you, and you see that du to the m plus one over two squared pops up. So it seems that this is uh, the weakest definition. Eh? And this definition here, I would call this Italian definition because it's mainly used by Giannazza Vespri and many other Italians eh? and Di Benedetto. And the advantage, as I explained here, if you put as a testing function u, you can use the recombination u to the m minus one du to get this du to the m plus one over two. However, modifications with respect to time, and you have to use modifications with respect to time because when testing with u, you have the, the time derivative of u. So that means you cannot use u directly, so you have to mollify in a certain sense. You can do that with, uh, with respect to t with standard mollification, or you can use Stackloff averages. There are many ways, and there is a, another mollification. But then a problem pops, pops up, uh, and it, this makes this definition a bit nasty because now when you do the mollification, you get, let me explain this here. So you, what you get after mollifying, you, know, you would get something, the mollification of this one here. And then, you take the modification, you take as a testing function the modification of, of du. So you take the modification of u, which is the same as modifying du. So you take the modification of u and you from this the spatial gradient, but this is the same as the modification of du. And now as you see, you have here a modification and here a modification, uh, and you cannot use this recombination effect. And this makes it quite tricky to prove energy estimates, uh, and energy estimates are the core of any regularity proof. So this is the problem here. One, I should mention here that in the, uh, in the, uh, in the case, in the homogeneous case, right hand side is equal to zero. And uh, without coefficients that uh, Verena Bögelein, Lechtele, uh, Bögelein, Lechtele, and Sturm were able to show that this uh, u to the m plus one over two definition and u to the m definition. Uh, are the same solution. They are the same. They agree. They coincide. But this, this proof here is uh, really it it it's a speciality of uh, the the model case. So there, if you put the x and t dependence, uh, this proof doesn't work. Okay. Now I come. 
to self-improving property of porous medium equation. Uh, okay. Is this sharp? Or in other words, is it possible to improve the integrability of du to dm? Which means that, is it possible to prove that the gradient of u to dm is in a better space, L2 plus epsilon? The natural energy space for the porous medium equation is L2. Yeah, And what I would like to have is L2 plus epsilon. So higher integrability for P growth, which means, for example, just minus, for example, divergence du to the P minus two du is equal to zero. Here, the natural energy space is W one P. And the question is, uh, do you get P plus epsilon? here this is this and the proof is quite easy you take energy estimate Kachopoli type estimate Sobolev Poincaré you get a reverse Hölder inequality which means that there exists q less than p such that du to the p the mean value of du to the p is less than the mean value of du to the q on the ball of uh, radius two row, the double of here, plus other terms. Other terms appear if you have uh, variance of this one here. And the higher integrability comes uh, via estimates on super level sets and application of Gehring's lemma. So higher integrability for evolutionary problems. This is Jacquinta Struve quasi-linear systems. Is here, then there was this, this breakthrough result of Kinnon and Lewis from 2000. It's a parabolic P Laplace equation for P larger than 2n over n plus 2. But the higher integrability of weak solutions to porous medium and Trudinger equation, this has been open for a quite a while. So I worked a lot with you, Kinnon, and then he told me uh, that this result here. Yeah, they prove this result, uh, but their plan was uh, to prove the higher integrability for Trudinger's equation. And at that time, they were not able to to uh, to get the full result, the result for Trudinger's equation. Nevertheless, I would say uh, when when you solve such a problem, it's not the worst. It's uh, this is a very nice result, and it, I think it's it was a really breakthrough for these kind of uh, problems. So higher integrability for porous medium, the case f equal to zero. So we have a, the right hand side is divergence f. So if m is larger than the critical value, which is n minus two positive part divided by n plus two. And the right hand side is in L sigma for some sigma larger than two. Then there exists a constant epsilon, depending on the data, it's n, m, l, and nu, such that any weak solution to the porous medium system satisfies that du is in L2 plus epsilon one, where epsilon one is, of course, the minimum of epsilon zero and sigma minus two. This is qualitative and it goes along with a quantitative estimate. For the case m larger than one, so we take cylinders of this form and this, it's a, a ball of radius r. And in space, we have t0 r to the one plus m over m here. And then we have that uh, on half of the cylinder, the u to the m2 plus epsilon is less than or equal to this prefactor here. It's u to 2m over r squared plus f squared, epsilon d over 2 as exponent, the u to the m squared plus c times uh, 
modulus of f to the power two plus epsilon. And here d is the scaling deficit. It's two m over m plus one. And this is was is a joint work with the Bögelein, Kochte, then Shaven, and was published in 2019. The case <coughs> m less than one, there is a similar estimate. <clears throat> it looks quite the same. The only difference is the prefactor here. Here you have u to the two m over r squared, but here you have u to the m plus one over r to the one plus m over m. And this, the scaling deficit here, d, it's two times one plus m, two divided by two, one plus m minus n, one minus m. This is a paper also with the uh, Bögelein and Schäven, and uh, it was published in 2020 in, in Krelle Journal. Remarks on the result. Uh, okay, when the deficit, if you take the limit m to one, then it converges to one. And also in the singular case, the deficit converges to one. And the quantitative estimates are stable in the limit, m equal to one, the constant do not blow up when m converges to zero. And we get this estimate here. So the d disappears. And here you have r squared. It's this is this kind of uh, estimate. And this is exactly so. This estimate here is exactly the estimate you get when you take the limit p equal to two in the Kinnon and Lewis estimate. So the, this is written here. The estimate is exactly the quantitative higher, to higher integrability estimate of Kinnon and Lewis in the limit p equal to two. And the, it can easily be generalized uh, to uh, coefficients a, where you have here minus h1 and here plus h2, where this h1 and h2 are integral. So h1 is integral to the power sigma over two and h2 is uh, square is integral to the, is in L sigma over two. For the Trudinger equation, okay. I also generalize this one here. I take here the time part and here the diffusion part. And for the diffusion part, I take the P Laplacian structure. And then the, the estimate for the Trudinger equation is the following. So in this range here, two N over N plus two, maximum two N over N plus two and one, two N over N minus two plus, F in L sigma, sigma larger than P, we have the existence of a constant depending on the data such that any weak solution of Trudinger's equation is integrable to the power P plus epsilon one locally in the interior of the, of, uh, the space time cylinder. And again, epsilon one, it's the minimum of epsilon zero and sigma minus P. And this was, is a joint work with the uh, Bögelein, Kinnunen and Schäven and has been published also last year in Journal Matpur Applique. Also here we have a quantitative estimate. So du to the p plus epsilon and here you have exactly the, the terms as before, but and the prefactor is u to the p r over p plus f to the p. And here you have epsilon over p, and, but here there is no deficit uh, because it's homogeneous. The mark here, for p equal to two, we recover the estimates both from the porous medium and the parabolic p Laplacian. In dimensions n one and two, we cover the whole range. If n is larger than two, you get 
we have these two bounds and we do actually, we do not know, actually we know that one of the bounds can be removed, uh, but we, we do not know if this here is sharp. For the parabolic P Laplace, you have the higher integrability for P larger than two N over N plus two. For the porous medium equation, there was the bound N minus two plus over N plus two, but here we have this transformation that M corresponds to one over P minus one, which means that you get the restriction P less than two N over N minus two plus. So both bounds appear here, but it's not <clears throat> clear. So remarks, M larger than one, in this framework, u to the m plus one over two, Janatza and Schwarzacher established the higher integrability for non-negative weak solutions. And this is a paper from 2000. And it, the result was in ArcSIF in 2000, 2016, and it's published in 2019, the American Journal of Mathematics. Their proof relies on the expansion of positivity, and this is a heavy tool, and this is not available for science solution, and also not, of course, not available in the case of system. The quantitative estimates of Janatza and Schwarzacher, they blow up when M converges to one. Nevertheless, this was the real breakthrough for the story. So they solved with this paper, this long-standing conjecture on higher integrability. We have the result m larger and equal to one in this setting u to the, in this in the u to the m definition. We cover science solution and also systems. And our estimate is stable when m converges to one. For the Trudinger equation and porous medium, in this singular case, there is the result of, uh, for the Trudinger equation, as I said, Bögelein and myself, Kinun and Schäven. So here in this range, Janatza and Schwarzacher, they, they proved at the same time uh, the higher integrability. Also in this case, uh, they, deal with non-negative solutions and their estimate, the quantitative estimate also blows up in the limit M converging to one. So we have again, signed solution systems and our estimate is stable. And in any case, we have for the porous medium, if M converges to one, it's the same estimate for, as for the Trudinger equation when P converges to two and it's the same as for the parabolic pillar plush and when P converges to two. So let me, concerning to the, the general case would be this uh, doubly nonlinear parabolic equation. What do we know? I, so here's M and here's P, M and P. For the parabolic P Laplace equation, you have M is equal to two, and you start up with P equal to two N over N plus two, and you get this line here of parameters. Trudinger equation, for the porous medium equation, here is one, you have this singular value, two N over N minus two, and you get this line here, here it's one. And for Trudinger's equation, we have this resection 2n over n plus 2, and we come up with 2n over n minus 2. Meanwhile, there's a preprint of Schwarzacher and Zari, as I should mention, they dt u p minus 1 minus delta p is equal to zoo. Scalar, and they were able to prove the result for any p larger than two. But it, this is really restricted to the model equation and to the homogeneous case. This is Schwarzacher.
and Zahari. And you can find two versions of the paper in ArcSiv. What are, are the novelties for the Trudinger equation? I will stop in, in, in two or th two minutes, eh? be sure. This is the first local regularity result for the spatial gradient of a doubly nonlinear equation without lower bound for solution. We are able to include science solution and system. And we can generalize this, this is work in progress uh, to doubly nonlinear equations. This range here can be probably covered also with a higher integrability for this solution. Okay. Now, one, one to give you an idea why this is a very a difficult problem. Uh, so you have to use, as you know, from the parabolic P Laplace post medium equation, you have to use a certain kind of intrinsic geometry. And intrinsic geometry is a is a way to um, to overcome the lack of homogeneity of the scaling deficits. So the equation doesn't do not scale properly. So and I will show you the idea behind that. You define a new you define u tilde is u to the p minus P minus two times u, and you you write down the equation in terms of u tilde. Then you end up after certain computations with this equation equation here. And now the idea should be doing analysis. Uh, we should get rid of this term here. We should find the geom a geometry of the cylinders in such a way that u tilde is a solution more or less of the heat equation. And this means that this quotient here, okay, the, there should be tilde, should play an important role in the intrinsic geometry. And what is the idea behind that? So you start with your solution on a cylinder, ball of radius r, in time, in time you have the interval minus s to s. And you do a rescaling to the unit cylinder B1 cross times minus one, one. This is the rescaling V. And now you write down the derivative with respect to the time variable. This is S times DTU. And now what you would like to have is U to the P minus one over two here. And you recombine this in by taking uh, the mean of u to the p to the p minus two over p. Here I write almost, yeah, but this is heuristics, yeah. So this one is canceled by this one heuristically. Now you take the equation, the Trudinger equation. So the s is here, it's here, the mean value is here. And you write down the equation. And now you do exactly the same. You want to get rid of this one here. Yeah, you take out here the mean value of the u to the p, p minus two over two over p. So you have s, the Laplacian with respect to x of u. But the Laplacian of u here, with respect to x is the Laplacian of v with respect to y over r squared. And now you would like to have this one equal to one. That would mean that v solves almost the heat equation. So this means that <clears throat> s here, this is equal to one, that S is equal to this, this here, you have this one here. Okay. This you take inside here, you have a R to the P, R to the P, and you have S is equal to R to the P, mean value integral of 
u to the p over r to the p mean value integral of u to the p. And now what you, what you would like to have is s over r to the p is equal to mu to the p minus two, p minus two, p minus two here, where mu to the p is this quantity here. So what we expect is a homogeneous behavior of the equation on intrinsic cylinders of the form. And the cylinders are now QRS, where R and S are related by this S over R to the P is mu to the P minus one, P minus two, where mu is this quantity here. And this is exactly the idea behind the intrinsic geometry yeah. Now, what you what you what you have to find is these kind of cylinders, and you have to do the energy estimates, the reverse Hölder inequalities, on these kind of cylinders, and then you have to use a covering argument to uh, um, to get the estimates on level sets. And finally, you have to est you have to integrate this this estimate, and you will end up with the higher integrability. Okay, I will stop here. All right, thank you very much.